so today I'm doing a video showing you my Lush collection. Lush is Groovy. I requested if I could do an updated version of my Lush collection, so I thought I'd film that for you um, today, as I have a new setup, as I've had my bedroom decorated. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, I'm gonna start with my two shelves. So this is where I store my shower gels and my skincare products, so let's start with that first. So these are my floating shelves that contain my shower gels and my skincare. On the top shelf I have my rose jam in the one kilogram bottle because it's my absolute favourite. So I keep that at the top there. I've also got my Jazzler's Lush sign up here. I've also got my Rainbow Fun which I bought yesterday. I just keep that up there. And then I've also got my Mother Earth Bath Bomb. Um, I wish I bought two but I only bought one so um, I'm treasuring this for as long as I can unless they become available again online but yes this one stays up here because I've got no <laughs> nowhere else to put it so he lives up there so that's the top shelf on the bottom shelf I have got this is like the shower gel and shower jelly section over here and then over here I've got a few little bubble bar jars I'll show you in a second and my skincare products so at the back here I have my twilight shower gel in the 500 gram bottle this is from the boxing day sale Ooh. and then I also got my olive branch shower gel in the 250 gram bottle I bought this yesterday in Bristol I also have a bubbly shower gel, the 250 gram bottle, which is from the Christmas range last year. I also have a little bit left of my rose jam in the 250 gram bottle. I have a 100 gram bottle of Prince Charming, which is from the Valentine's Day uh, range this year. I have Plum Rain, which is now you can buy in stores, it was originally an Oxford Street exclusive, so I got a 100 gram bottle of that. I also have Beautiful Shower Gel in the 100 gram bottle. I have the Comforter Shower Gel in the 100 gram bottle. And I have Yummy Mummy in the 100 gram bottle, which is from the Mother's Day range. It's very, very popular, this shower cream. And then I have, uh, oh, it doesn't belong there, but I have 9 to 5 Cleansing Lotion. And I've got two dusting powders, so I've got Silky Underwear, which is what my sister bought me for Christmas. It smells floral, it's very, very beautiful. And then I've got Mr. Sandman, which is from the uh, box, I got it from the Boxing Day sale. It was originally from the Christmas range, and this smells like lavender. It smells like Sleepy Body Lotion and Twilight. It's very, very beautiful, and it contains a lot of uh, glitter. Well, not glitter, but, you know, luster, so it makes your skin all sparkly and amazing. Right, so, shower jellies, I have pink custard, I have it in the uh, smaller tub, and then I have it in the 250 gram tub as well, I bought this one yesterday because I love it so much, and in the back here I have my rose jam shower jelly, which was released in the kitchen last year over Christmas, and then... I also have my rose jam perfume with solid perfume as well because I love rose jam as you know. <laughs> um, then I have these. So I've got Skin Drink which is a facial moisturiser. I have Cosmetic Lad which is a facial moisturiser. And then I also have my Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion. It's very very simple but I absolutely love it. And then in the back I have my two big tubs of Sleepy here which I bought from the sale, um, Boxing Day sale and I absolutely love, love, love this stuff so that's why I stocked up on it. I did have two tubs and half a tub but I gave that to my friend Becca because uh, she loves the stuff so I felt generous. I thought oh I'd give her some, she's been so good to me recently. So yes they stay at the back. And then I have some facial stuff so I have Mask of Magna Minty which is a face and body mask which is self-preserving, and I also had Cup of Coffee um, face um, mask as well. That one's not self-preserving, but yeah, I've got that one. And then I've also got Angels on Their Skin, which is a fresh facial cleanser. 
And then, oh, I've got my big tub of Rose Argan body conditioner, which was um, given as a gift from one of the colleagues in Bristol. I absolutely love it. I'm savouring it for as long as I can. That's those. Then I have a big old tub, a 225 gram tub of Karma Cream, because I love the Karma scent, so I picked this up last month. And then also I picked up last month was Rub 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 Shower Scrub. I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. It's amazing, it makes your skin feel so good. And it smells so good as well. I absolutely love it. And then on the end here, I have Eau Roma Toner Water. I love this stuff, it's very refreshing. I also have in a smaller bottle Tea Tree Toner Water, um, which I love as well. So they are on the end. And then on the top here, I've just got a little Rose Lolly Pop Lip Balm. I love this stuff, it's really, really nice. And then here, I've got some little jars. So in this jar, um, this has Karma Bubble Bar in. Um, I just like to keep little jars of, so if I don't use the whole bubble bar, I just use half of it, then I crumble the rest up and put it in here. It's handy just to sprinkle it in to make some bubbles, or it's good for just to put in some cocktails. And this one it is pop in the bath, little crumbled up in there. And then this one is the comforter. Um, so these jars, I bought them from Tesco. I think they were a pound each, was really, really good. I tried to look for some um, on Amazon and online, but I couldn't find anything small enough. I didn't want anything too bulky on my shelf because um, I had a lot of stuff on there, so I don't want anything too bulky. So yeah, these are absolutely perfect to just fit in um, half of a bubble bar that I've got left. So yeah, so that is my shelves. I'm sure it will keep growing and growing and growing over the next few months, especially when the uh, Easter stuff comes out or Father's Day stuff comes out. And hopefully there'll be new lines coming out, which I'm really, really excited about. So yes, Let's move on to down here where I have my drawers of all my bath bombs, bubble bars, soaps, etc. So this is my cute little cabinet. I absolutely love this. Um, it stores all my um, other Lush products. Um, I bought this from Denam. I think it was about like £19.99 or £20. Um, but yeah, uh, on top you see I love lavender, it's fake lavender. I love this cute little heart as well, it's got lavender on it. Um, I just bought in my soaps which is in my bathroom. Um, so that's the soaps I'm currently using, this is Northern Light, that's Miranda soap and Love You Love You Lot soap. I like to have a variety of soaps and use them at the same time. So let's go into my top drawer. Ooh, I've had to cram everything in so um, it's been a bit of a nightmare. Um, so at the top here it's mainly exclusive products um, and things like that. So. The first one is, is it Shakura? Shakuru bath bomb, which is from the kitchen. It smells really, really pretty. I have my um, roller bath bomb as well, which um, came from the Valentine's Day range this year. And I've also got my Ups a Daisy bath bomb, which I bought yesterday, which is from the Mother's Day range. And I also have two over and over bath bombs, <clears throat> which I think is now going to be in the regular line. I'm do not sure if that's completely correct, but that's what I've heard. Then I have two rose bombshell bath bombs because I love the rose jam scent, as I've said many times. I love, love, love those bath bombs. They're brilliant. And then I have an all that jazz bath bomb, which is from the kitchen as well. Um, I have the Experimenter, which is what I bought yesterday. And I have a, a 404 bath bomb, which is, um, they released it last year. Was it last year? Yeah. Um, to do with the um, internet shutdown campaign that they were um, supporting. So yes, I grabbed one of those and I have one Metam is it Metamorphos or Metamorphous bath bomb. But yeah, I love this one. I'm not overly keen on the scent of Metamorphous, Metamorphous bath bomb but it is very, very pretty. I love it. So that is my top drawer. On to the second drawer, which is more bath bombs. <laughs> so, in here is a mixture of things, mainly Christmas products and Oxford products as well, Oxford Street exclusive products. So in here, I have the Autumn Leaf bath bomb. I've got it wrapped up twice because it is starting to crumble. I also have a Lord of Misrule bath bomb. I have a Think Pink bath bomb, 
I have two mum bath bombs which is from the Mother's Day range this year and I have a Butterball bath bomb, I have a Golden Slumbers bath bomb which is from the Oxford Street Exclusives, I also have a Satsuma bath bomb which, is, which was from the Oxford Street Exclusives over Christmas and it was in gift sets as well. I love the scent of this, it's beautiful. And then I have a mistletoe bath bomb because it was new to last year's Christmas collection and I love the floral jasmine scent. I have a So White bath bomb which is from Christmas. I have a shoot, shoot, shoot for the stars, shooting stars, shoot for the stars bath bomb which is from Christmas as well. And I have a never mind the ballistics bath bomb which is a little bit mouldy. There's been issues with that. Um, I've just kept it. I might use it, I don't know. Might like pick up the mould or something. <laughs> And then I also have um, Luxury Lush Pud, um, which is like starting to crumble now. I want to use it, but I don't want to use it because it's lavender scented and I love it so much. Um, and then I have a Golden Wonder Bath Bomb, which is like seeping glows of blue. Um, but yes, that is my second drawer. So the next drawer I'm going on to is where I store all my bubble bars and all my fun products. <sighs> da da da! So I have an Elsie the Giraffe You're Having a Bath, uh, which is from the Mother's Day range this year. I have Cherry Blossom Reuse Bubble Bar, bar, bar which is from the Oxford Street Exclusives. I have a Rose Jam Bubble Room. I have a Milky Bath Bubble Bar. I have two whoop, Ladybirds, which was released in the Valentine's Day collection this year. I also have two um, Your Mother Should Know bubble bars, which is from the Mother's Day range this year. I absolutely loved it, so yes, I'm going to cherish them. <laughs> I also have a Bright Side and a Comforter bubble bar. I have Karma Bar Bar bubble bar from the Mother's Day range. French Kiss Lavender. Ooh. Amanda Pondo, which was released in the kitchen a few weeks ago. <clears throat> Pop in the bath. Creamy Gandhi. Two unicorn horns odds. I went to the Lush store yesterday and I was hoping and praying that they still had some left, but they didn't and I wanted to cry, but I'm glad I got two. Mmm, they're my babies. And then the rest in here is bath oils and fun. So I have blue fun. I got like a little sample one and I've got, ooh, there's a hair. Um, I've got some green fun, I've got sea monster fun and I've got some orange fun and some pink fun which I find really good for cocktails and then the rest I've got bath melt so I've got um, I am a radiant being which is from the Oxford Street exclusives I've also got I can't remember what this is called Monsieur something which is lavender scented I have a floating island I've got two A Hearts Beating As One, which is from the Valentine's Day range this year, and I have a Melting Marshmallow Moment and a Razzle Dazzle. So that is my third drawer. So the last final drawer is where I contain my soaps and samples that I'm giving, given either from on, when I purchase online or when I go to the stores. Um, so yeah, it's just full of random stuff. <laughs> so I have all sorts in here. I have a roulade, I can't remember the name of it. In my lush tin I've got full of grey serum bar, an empty tin. <laughs> I have a scrubby which is from the Mother's Day range this year. I love him, he smells like coconut. <clears throat> I have two Kiss Me Quick wash cards which was released on the Valentine's Day range and they smell like, is it 29 High Street perfume? Which is just the smell of Lush. Um, 
I love these. I absolutely love, love, love them. And then I have a load of samples. <laughs> Too many. But it's mainly skincare. I like to try out skincare before I buy it. So it's mainly like moisturizer. So I've got like celestial, I've got an ultra band cleanser and things like that. So yes, that's what they are. <laughs> And then I have, I keep all my um, kitchen cards in here. So when you buy stuff from the kitchen, they send you these little Polaroids. So I've got those. Then I've got loads of soap samples. So I've got like um, Amanda Pand and Layer Cake and Bohemian and um, Honey I Wash the Kids and a Karma one. So yeah, I've got those. And at the bottom I've got my soaps, so my friend gave me just a little, little piece of Snow Castle which is from the uh, Christmas range, Movis, which is, um, I was given a sample yesterday, which is just a scrub, like an exfoliator. Then I had Shooting Star Soap, um, I got quite a big chunk of it because I bought it in the Boxing Day sale. I also have um, Ranger Rock, I absolutely love the soap, um, I bought this in the Boxing Day sale as well from the Christmas range. I have a big chunk of karma soap because like I say many times, I love the karma scent. I have um, Serenendipi, which is a lavender scented soap from the normal range. I have Santa's Post Box soap, which I absolutely love. I have another piece of Snow Castle soap, which smells like marzipan. I have Rockstar soap, which is the first, this isn't the first one, but this is the first soap that I ever bought from Nash, and I love it. It just smells nice and sweet. And I also have Igloo soup, which I also bought from the uh, Boxing Day sale. <laughs> so I have that. So that is the fourth draw. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and also subscribe to my channel. I also have an Instagram. You can find me by searching Jazz Loves Lush. Um, I post all sorts of content on there, so I post bath art, I post um, photos of Lush products and I also let you guys know when I've uploaded onto this channel. But yes, if there's any videos you'd like me to do, just let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I hope you have a fantastic week and I shall see you soon. Bye!